<laughs> YouTube, what up, man? So I'm back, Zeta Gray Demon. We ain't doing a podcast today. You know, I'm switching up the video format, trying to make it, you know, a little more personal and trying to speak on different topics. And, uh, you know, today I just wanted to talk about why I deleted my Twitter and my Instagram. And I want to delete my Snapchat too, but it's just like I talk to so many people on there and it's just like damn near like my texting app, like a way of communication. But uh, I deleted Twitter and Instagram and I've done this multiple times before just because A, I just don't like seeing people's thoughts all day, like starting with Twitter. I don't like seeing people's thoughts all day. It feels like when I see people's thoughts all day, they almost become my thoughts just because like, think about that voice that you hear in your head and when you're scrolling through Twitter, you're just reading it. So it's just like, I feel like that's like a damn near a form of subconscious programming that I'm trying to avoid, you know? So that's one reason. And it's just too much negativity on there. Like there's, there's a lot of things you'll see on there. Like, have you ever just been on Twitter scrolling, seen some wild shit and then you were just mad, you know what I'm saying? Whether it was for 10 minutes or hour even a second like it just changes the the direction of your day almost especially if you do it the first thing in the morning you get on twitter and get to scroll and next thing you know you're starting your day pissed off so i just had to get off of there and instagram damn near the same reason i mean i know it just depends on who you follow and things like that but it just wasn't very inspiring informative or anything of that nature to me and Damn, Snapchat's damn near like that with the Discover tab. So I try to stay away from there. And another thing I did was I have three Snapchats. Three. Like, and it, they have different amounts of people on them. Ranging from a lot to just a few and then down to a small amount. Like, and it's really based on, like, how close people are to me, I guess, where it's like I have one where it's just like public and everybody and then one where it's like people that I talk to a little more frequently and then down to one with people I talk to every day. So it's like I'm not constantly being contacted with like just goofy shit and seeing stories of like just, you know, random shit that I really don't need to be seeing. But <clears throat> I just, you know, there's multiple reasons I feel like it was important for me to, to delete my socials and one is another one <laughs> another one is like focus like as you know if you subscribe to my youtube channel i produce engineer and i make my own music and it was hard for me to do any of that just be extremely creative when i'm constantly looking at everybody else and what they're doing what they're creating and I just feel like that kind of uh, that kind of uh, dilutes, I guess you could say, you know, you like the the creativity coming from you. I feel like that can dilute it, and I know you can look at different things for inspiration or whatever. But I just, you know, feel like that it's not as pure, you know. But uh, and from a productivity standpoint as well, like I've noticed. Uh, if you haven't listened to my album, Looked in the Mirror, it's on all streaming platforms. Go check it out. But I noticed when I was making the songs for that album, a lot of those songs came when I was on a social media break. Like, I would delete all the apps off my phone, every single app, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, all that. And I would just delete it. And I had no intentions of making music, but I would just delete those apps and I would magically make a fucking song. So I was just like, wow, that's kind of interesting when I think about it. And multiple songs were made that way when I was on a social media fast. So from a productivity standpoint, a creative pro productivity standpoint, I feel like it's definitely something you should try. And uh, that's just productivity, creativity, and just a lot of reasons why I do it. But from a, a mental health standpoint, you really, really... <laughs> really need to think about deleting social media because if you're having issues with anxiety you're having issues with just like social pressure issues with depression you don't need to be seeing other people's lives all day you really don't even need to be seeing like 
motivational shit on it. Instagram and Twitter and all that shit. Like, you can go watch certain YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying, about that, or, or read books about that. But I think Instagram and Twitter might not be the place for you. But there's too many triggers there. There's too many triggers that'll that'll really uh, send you down a rabbit hole if you are dealing with depression. And anybody who's dealt with depression or anxiety or anything like that knows what I mean by send you down a rabbit hole. So... This is definitely something you want to take a look at. I mean, I'm not trying to be too long-winded in this video. I was just trying to get to the point. Or if anybody's like, where's Isaiah been? Where's Zay been? You know what I'm saying? That's where I've been. Not on fucking Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. Just because I don't want to. And honestly, I found way more peace not being on there and just being more present in life. You know? Like, I don't feel the need to document everything and share it with people who really don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying like i can see it would be different for like youtube like people who are subscribed to me and they enjoy what i do and and things of that nature like if you want to see this then that's different but you are constantly posting and showing shit to people who don't care i feel like some people follow you just to to watch your shit and critique it and be like <sighs> who this guy think he is and shit like that you know what i'm saying so it's like What's the point? You know what I'm saying? We're not in high school anymore. Well, you might be in high school. I don't know who you are watching this, but it's like, if you're not in high school and shit like that, it's like, people aren't really watching you just because they fuck with you. It's almost just like they're just locked in and just looking. Like, they're not necessarily your supporter. And I just feel like if I'm not selling anything, I'm not basically having a purpose with my social media. There's no point in me having it. And... I don't know, that's, that's just something I've been thinking about a lot. And I wanted to, you know, share that with you guys and see what you think about it. Uh, put it in the comments. What are what are your uh, interactions on social media like? What are, What is your relationship to social media like? How often do you use it? Have you thought about deleting it? Doing a social media fast? Uh, or anything like that? So, uh, put in the comments, you know. What kind of video you want me to talk about next? What you want me to speak on next? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep this series up. I want to try to do a, I'm going to go from doing, you know, a video once a week. And then I want to do multiple videos a week. I just, just got to get back in the rhythm. You know, I haven't, I haven't even really made any videos like this before. So this is all new, but as it's, it's going to get better as we go along. I'm going to be a little smooth. Ooh, bless you. I'm going to be a little smoother with it. Editing is going to get better, but you guys just bear with me, and I appreciate everybody who has subscribed and the subscribers that's grown along. You're going to see new videos and podcasts with me and Dirty Dancing and some more people. But yeah, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, do everything that the YouTubers say to do at the end of the video. And I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir.